Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode on North Face Rally. It is like 8.30 in the morning. I don't want to wake up all the neighbors here. You've seen it yourself. OG subscribers should know, or OG NFR members should know where I'm at and what I'm about to do. We're actually at Manny's house. For those who don't know Manny, his name is I told you on Instagram. And he has a lineup of a Huracan, he has a Ferrari, I think 458, and he also has a G-Wagon that I'm gonna be driving today. Today's gonna be an exciting vlog. I know I said that all, every vlog I set up like that because Every vlog that we shoot is an exciting vlog. We're actually going to knock on his door. We have to be really quiet though because it's extremely quiet. Do you guys hear that? I don't hear anything but birds. So this vlog is going to be super, super, super exciting because I don't even know if I should tell the secret yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. I'm going to wait till you guys watch the whole entire video. Don't skip no ads. Just watch it. It's going to be an exciting, crazy vlog. Trust me. For those who pay close attention to the montage before, you notice that the Huracan has a low tire issue. So, the front right tire is a little low. I think Manny hit a pothole or something. But right now, we're gonna go to NEMA, get a Lona tire, come back, reinstall it, and then bring back the Lona tire. So we're gonna have quite, quite a busy day today. Oh my god, the last clip my mic was not on, I'm so sorry. Uh, quick update, we left Mechatronics, we got the torque wrench, we got the tire, and we got the... Sorry, I am just blanking out right now. What? Yeah, we got the torque wrench, we got the tire, and we got the jack, I'm so sorry, we got the jack. Again, I'm so excited for this vlog, you guys stay tuned. If you guys made it this far, I love you. I know I'm so annoying at every second at every again if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe Sh please share it with your friends because nf4 is about to blow! blow we decided we're gonna cruise around in the huracan a little bit so now the huracan's fixed perfect there you go let's play with them a little so here's the front driver door i never sat in a huracan or driven a huracan today is gonna be my lucky day let's get in you put your buttocks first oh okay and whoa what a cockpit you guys what a cockpit it's just amazing. Oh, cup holder, $250 upgrade. Manny actually told me the key for the Ferrari is, dun, 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 right here. Boom, boom. <laughs> I am like a kid in a candy store right now. This is amazing. I love the Ferrari red on the Lamborghini. Let's go check out the Ferrari now. So as you know, Ferrari is a naturally aspirated V8. I was about to say V10. That's a V10. Naturally aspirated V8. It makes somewhere over 500 horsepower. Whoa, we got the car gods. You hear that? Whoa, the car gods have blessed me. Oh, button first, button first. Ugh. So first things first, what we always do is foot on brake. We start it. Wait for the fuel pumps. Houston, we have liftoff. Oh, how come I cannot? <sighs> I don't know how to put a Lamborghini in drive. I don't know how to start a Ferrari. 
What's I am like a car geek that only sees cars online and never gets to get on them. But today we're going to start a Ferrari. Come on, we can do this. Let's go. Key in the ignition. Foot on brake. Let's go. Why isn't it working? Manny, I know you're gonna laugh at me, but I do not know how to start a Ferrari 458. The key is in the ignition. What am I? Oh my god! I just saw it. It's the freaking start engine button! Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Please forgive me. Key in the ignition. Let's go. Houston, we have liftoff. Do you hear that? Oh yeah. Let's go. Okay. We are in a residential neighborhood. The only way to drive a Ferrari is to leave it in race mode. I got into the car and the Ferrari's in race. Put it in ESC off. I think you have to hold it that way, but we're just gonna leave it in race. I just realized that my camera mic again wasn't on. I'm so sorry. Right now, we're heading to blank, blank, blank because I don't want to show you or ruin the surprise. OBP. I don't want to ruin the surprise what we have going on, but trust me, it is it is pretty sick. We're gonna be the first ones there. It takes us 30 minutes to get there from where I am. The Huracan room did not stop us. Today is going to be an epic day for NFR. No first rally, let's go! <laughs> God, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry. Yes, we're at Mercedes-Benz, but I'm not gonna show you which Mercedes we're gonna get I kind of staked you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we are here. It's so cool I'm bro. I seen the car. I cannot wait to show you guys. Can you guys guess? C63 S65 mm. Another G-Wagon? I would love another G-Wagon to be honest What did you just do, bro? What did you just do? Oh my god. Bro, you killed the game, bro. Bro, Riz, what did he just do? I don't know, man. I'm still in shock. <laughs> this is crazy. Congratulations, man. Thank you, bro. Are you really gonna do donuts in this? Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> Huge thank you to Steve from Mercedes-Benz Oakville. Right now we're gonna go and find, like we don't know what to do when you get it. What do you do when you get a first car? Where do you go when you get a first car? We go to Burger King. I didn't get to show you guys the lineup. We have like four Lambos and two Ferraris. Hold on, I'll show you. Prefavate, we have a regular Schmegler Huracan, 458, 488, yeah. Aventador, the infamous Huracan. Bro, this is like one of the best days in the world for Manny and for me. I'm just so happy for him. I don't know if you can hear me through the exhaust, but we got some V12 action on the channel. What? Look at this guy. Look at the big smile on his face. Ah! Newest addition to the NFR family. Look at her. She's just sitting and pretty. Going. SLS going. I'm so happy for you, Manny. I'm so happy for you. That's what you call dedication. <laughs> that is what you call dedication. Chasing views on views, boys. We're up on the top of the building, and look who I found up here. Guys, we're on top. Of How the did you sneak up shot. here? <laughs> we do not want to fall there. Shout out to Auto Cloak for hooking us up with the ladder. Whoa.
views on views on views on views as far as your eye could see I kind of see the ocean from over there but the best view is right over here if a wrist falls through the camera I'm gonna grab him by his feet hopefully his shoes don't come off but I will grab you by your feet bro all right so we have Dylan here and Dylan is actually the CEO of AutoCloak. AutoCloak, you cool. got it, buddy. So can we talk about uh, Afan's uh, performance here? So a little bit of the details that I was talking about over there and how the films could conform in different films nowadays, you know, take shape. This is a perfect example of some of the work that we've done. If you actually take a look at, you know, you know, an area as intricate as this, you see a lot of different types of body shapes, body curves, body lines, where panels come to end where the spoilers mounted in and stuff like that. So when you're wrapping a substrate such as this, you have to take specific attention to detail to ensure you know how you're gonna actually place that film and install the film down. So as we mentioned, films can form, right? So let's just take a look into this area in here. If you see all in here, there's all different layers and different textures on the grill, on the engine cover. So in order to get the film down in and installed properly, cleanly, so we can replicate paint, we have to have different technologies that are built into those films to assist us, to allow us to achieve the result that we're looking for. So if you look at all of the corners up and around here, you can see how we've been able to pull the film down, down and around, create a little bit of a stretch around the corner, and then heat shrink it back so it actually eliminates all the wrinkles on the panel. If you're taking a, a look at the front end here, you can see how you come into the corners, into the edges. Again, it looks like it's all properly tucked where it actually replicates paint. So that's the cool thing about the product. Now, one thing about the product that a lot of people don't know too is it actually does serve as a defense barrier for your entire vehicle. So this vehicle here, came to us as a gray vehicle, initially raw paint. And you know, when you're driving through sand, you're driving through rainstorms, you're driving through absolutely anything, you're getting all that stuff thrown at your car. So now that you're taking a look at this wrap here, this wrap is one that will benefit the user by not only adding an aesthetic taste that he wants to his car, and in this case, orange Lamborghini, but at the same point in time, when he decides to go resell this car, all these panels that have the wrap film on it will protect the paint, will protect the bodywork for holding a future value that you will be able to get back from putting into your car for something that you actually love to do. So at the back of the uh, the car here, Afon wanted something special done to his car. And as you can see, you know, with the forged carbon accents, the dual straight exhaust at the back, you know, he wanted a little bit more than what the Performante was. So we decided to take an under look at his spoiler here. And as you can see, the film that we've used to wrap the car with, we've actually sent through our plotter and we've plotted out the Performante logo to place underneath the spoiler. So then that way, when anyone from behind him is behind him and low enough, they'll be able to see the car's logo right there. You would never believe what's behind you guys. It's a supercar takeover right at Auto Club. It's like a jumble of supercars. Just like that, the vlog is over. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video because the next video is gonna be way better than this one. I see that every vlog, but trust me, I'm already working on the next video as we speak right now. All right, thanks for watching.